Hi, I'm Dr. Chiso Karedin, a hematologist, medical oncologist with Mayo Clinic Health System. Today I'm here to answer important questions you may have about immune therapy and chemotherapy. Chemotherapy acts by killing all the rapidly dividing cells. And immune therapy is a medication or infusion we do to stimulate the immune system and kill the cancer cell. So none of the treatment are without consequences. I meant in the sense of um, side effects. Chemotherapy has its own and immune therapy has its own. Um, we have to weigh in the benefit versus risk when we consider one treatment over the other, you know. So when we have um, treatments, we decide if the treatment um, needs to be effective immediately, then we start with chemo or add on chemo with the immune therapy because immune therapy might take a little longer to kick in and have the effect. So. Um, Everybody should be conscious that everything is not applicable for every situation and we just need to pick and choose based upon the patient clinical scenario. To understand the immune therapy effect on cancer, we should understand the basic um, immune activation in our body. Our body has an immune system that fights anything that is foreign and cancer is considered foreign. It attacks it initially to start with, but there's a system that puts, it on, uh, puts a break on it and stops uh, the activation. How the immune system, wor immune therapy works is it keeps the immune system activated against the cancer and that kills the cancer. But as a consequence, it can get overactivated and attack other systems, which leads to side effects and complications. the immune system gets overactivated and it can, in the process, um, attack the body's own um, systems. The immune system is spontaneous without an activation externally. It is known to suppress or it's not known to protect your own body system, whereas when we do an artificial stimulation, it sometimes loses control. It goes, attacks, lung and causes pneumonitis, can attack the colon, cause colitis, it can attack the skin and cause dermatitis, it can attack the endocrine organs like the thyroid and cause thyroiditis, that can lead to complications. Some of it can be pretty dangerous and some can be controlled with medication. So um, some people can develop these symptoms when they start with the first infusion, whereas some can get later in the course of treatment. So they should constantly inform the provider when things change for them or any new symptom develop um, because it's for the provider to evaluate if it's related to a side effect from the immune therapy and that can be addressed. These days, immune therapy is integrated into a lot of uh, treatment plans. Um, we started with melanoma and kidney cancer. Now we have integrated that into head and neck cancer, um, stomach cancer, GI cancers, gynecological cancers, and prostate cancer, it's all included. To learn more, please click on one of the links on the screen or in the description below.